unquestionably the most prestigious event on the Australian Bowls calendar. It is the Australian Open. Their opponents are absolutely world class. It's all about to go down at the Broad Beach Bowls Club. Absolutely locked in. Didn't miss by much. A very good shot there from Aaron Wilson. Puts one straight back on the jack. It's good enough to count. That's the shot. She showed unbelievable fight. Oh, Hang Stop on a minute. Brilliant. Hang on a minute. Oh, oh. Congratulations to both those boys. One of Australia's greats. Adds another major title to his resume. We're here on the Gold Coast for the 2024 Australian Open at the Broad Beach Bowls Club. And it is great to be here as winter sets in all around the country. Some nice weather here all year round and plenty to do. Make sure you make your way up at some stage over the next few months. Come down for a weekend. We are so lucky to be here at Broad Beach. My name is Liam Ellison and joined alongside me today is Lindsay Clark. World champ, Jackaroo. Lindsay, welcome. This is so exciting. We're not far away from the men's pairs final. Thank you, Liam. Yeah, there's a buzz around the club. There's a buzz around the Gold Coast. Australian Open time. The sun's come out for us. It's fantastic. Really excited about two quality finals coming up. We do have two big finals. Let's have a look at our schedule here on broadcast today. It does. And then we've got Kelsey Cottrell, number one world ranked player, queen of the Broad Beach Greens here, taking on Lara Butler, who plays for Switzerland, but lives over in WA. So it's going to be fantastic matches. Now we turn our attention to the women singles as well. It's Lara Butler and Kelsey oh, Cottrell. This one is going to be terrific. It is. Look, I know both girls. Are, I got beaten by Lara actually in the quarterfinal, I think, and Kelsey Cottrell, one of my best mates. It's going to be really interesting. So Lara hasn't been tested so far in this tournament. I think the opposition closest has got to 12. Um, Kelsey's one of the best singles players of all time. So, yeah, both girls playing really, really well. It'll be interesting to see how this un unfolds. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one coming up. I mean, talk us through the road and the journey it's been to this point. Obviously, it's a two-week-long Australian Open competition for both Lara and Kelsey. Yeah, look, uh, we played a sectional round. There's three games there. I think there's about seven rounds to get to this final as well for the girls. So they've definitely earned their spot in this grand final. And, you know, I think both of them will just go out to enjoy it. They're both internationals. Uh, Lara playing for Switzerland. Kelsey, one of Australia's most capped of all time. Um, I think they'll just enjoy it. Yeah, it'll be short for short. They're both quality draw players uh, but can play conversions when they need as well. It's going to be a good one. I sure will. And, of course, Cassandra Millerick was the champion in 2023. There'll be a new champion in 2024, either Kelsey or Lara. We'll get some highlights from last year's final very shortly, Linz. I mean, that one was great, wasn't it? Yeah, look, I think um, Kelso kind of, we talk a lot about that. Uh, she feels like it was the one that got away. So the fact that she's back here 12 months later, a chance at redemption, uh, it's, you know, so proud of her to do that. It's such a tough road. Um, so, yeah, I think she'll be out to get this one. Looking pretty nice here as well at Broad Beach now, around 21 degrees. It's nice still and overcast day. It's been pretty terrific conditions. Yeah, look, I think with the overcast shadow, it slowed the green slightly towards the end of the ma that match. Uh, but yeah, there's no wind, there's nothing quirky going on. I think it'll be just conducive to really good heads and good bowls. Stick around, not far away now from the women's singles getting underway here just off the back of this. the Australian Open here on the beautiful Gold Coast here in the Sunshine State. We're at the Broad Beach Bowls Club. Been here since June 8th. It's been two big weeks of action. And now we have the women's singles final coming up in just a few moments. My name is Liam Ellison. Lindsay Clark, Jackaroo, world champ with me to walk us through this one. This is going to be terrific. And two players who have won their way through after two hard-fought weeks. Yeah, look, it's such a journey to get here. Uh, you know, they're, both the girls have worked hard. Um, Kelso's had a couple of nail biters in a semi-final, winning on the last bowl. Uh, Lara's been pretty smooth sailing along the way. We talked about it uh, just prior to the break but um, yeah both girls been in really good form I think it's going to be a cracking final. Kelsey Cottrell one of the greats for Australia this is some of her 
Career highlights, Lindsay, talk us through her. Yeah, look, I've been lucky enough to be uh, side by side with her on her journey for the last 20 years. Uh, just recently, as last night, rated as a world number one player. Uh, she's just such such a great teammate, um, great team player, but her singles record is outstanding as well. So very steely, uh, determined, focused, doesn't show too much emotion, uh, but we get to see that all after the games. And she's certainly been to this stage many, many times at the Australian Open. Yeah, she has. Ten, ten time Australian Open champion, so I think she's had two singles singles victories in that so looking for a third a bit of history there for her as well remarkable resume really and of course this isn't the first time that these two have met at the pointy end of the tournament yeah that's correct so 12 months ago these two met in the semi-final that time so they were over at Helen's Vale different surface uh, but Kelsey was able to get the better of Lara in that one uh, quite convincingly but you know 12 months on Lara's come a long way she's had a world championships under her belt since then uh, she's got to the pointy end of nearly every event so far uh, in the 2024 Australian Open so yeah I think she'll learn from that and obviously got better she's in the final now that she is and let's welcome in as well barry lester another member of our commentary team barry over to you yeah thank you kelsey cultural just named world number one female player last night and how did that make you feel kelsey yeah it's pretty special um yeah very honored and, and privileged to to have that title um not something that i ever thought would happen in in my career but um yeah just a, an amazing opportunity to be able to say that i'm the world number one my kids are loving it probably more than i am <laughs> How do you compartmentalise from that in terms of, you know, taking that on board, do you use it as inspiration or is it just a, a, a case of putting that aside and focusing on the now? Yeah, I suppose I probably hadn't really thought of it until you asked me that question since last night. You know, you just get on with life and, you know, take the kids to school this morning, rock up at bowls for another game. And, yeah, so it's just a, it's just something that I'll probably reflect on maybe at the end of my career that, you know, it's been a very special moment to have um, been, you know, named number one in the world at some stage of my career. It's pretty cool. And a big element to this tournament is the fact you've played a bit on carpet, played a bit on grass, but do you draw off your experiences coming back to this rink 12 months later? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, very really familiar with the rink. Um, sat out here for a little bit and watched the men's pairs final as well and just, yeah, just tried to get a bit of a feel for how, how hard they were throwing it. <laughs> well, good luck. And Lara, uh, the big stage, you went on and played for Switzerland last year at the World Championships. Did that help your game move forward and, and help mature your, you know, the ability to come out here and make two Australian Open final? Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, getting to play against better players just helps you get better and just looking forward to the challenge today. And you're a left-hander. We don't see too many left-handers out here on the big stage. Are you trying to do one for the lefties today? Yeah, apparently we're a rare breed. <laughs> and what's been the the winning sort of formula to get you to here? I know you're playing tre tremendous draw bowling, but is there a, another element to your game that's helped you get this far? Um, I think just being patient and going with the game plan that I've had all along and sticking with what I know is really what's doing it so far, so hopefully that works today. Well, good luck and we wish you and Kelsey all the best for this big final. Good luck. Thanks very much. Thank you, Barry. Lara Butler there, a 2023 Australian okay. Open champion as well in the fours. Of course, representing Switzerland at the World Bowls Championships. And joined alongside me in commentary as well, Clive Adams and Lindsay Clark up in the booth as well for the women's singles final. Welcome to you both. Yes, it's uh, this is going to be a great match. I, I, I think, you know, Lara's backed up her form from last year's Australian Open, you know, where she went deep in events, and she's done it again this time around. So, uh, Lindsay, uh, you know, whilst Kelsey always probably goes into every match she's playing as favourite, <laughs> um, you know, Lara, Lara's well and truly capable of uh, pushing her all the way here. Yeah, what I love about Lara, I, I got a, a first row seat when she defeated me <laughs> um, the other day, <laughs> um, but she's just a bit, a bit similar to Kelso in her demeanour on the green. So, yeah, no, no big signs of emotion, just draws shots, pl can play some good conversions as well. Um, yeah, she just looks very determined this time around, so... Yes, and uh, and look, looking at uh, you know the, these two players, as you talked about last time they met, they did meet in the semi-final last year. Twenty-one fourteen, the win was to Kelsey Cottrell, but I, I think that match was actually a little closer than the way I remember that match is that Lara just had a couple of bad ends, and yep. that was enough for for Kelsey to get away and get the win. So, I guess that's the thing you're guarding against here is just to not to give away any any sort of easy collects for for Kelsey because that's the top players are just waiting for those opportunities yeah and Kelsey she's very much a, a momentum player as well you get her on that run she's very very hard to stop um, I remember that semi-final last year and the green at Helensville was running about 19 yes. <laughs> so uh, this green here probably a really nice kind pace for both girls and um, yeah sure that both that will enjoy being out there 
Of course, our format for the singles, four bowls each, 21 shots up, the target for these two. Yep, so we'll play as many ends as it takes to get to 21. And um, these players have done that fairly well throughout the tournament. Um, I, I will say that Kelsey's had a few closer closer matches than perhaps Lara has had. Lara plus 90 for the tournament. Um, Kelsey plus 57. So an average winning margin of 10 shots, which, uh, Linz, was exactly the margin uh, in... Yep, thanks. <laughs> thanks for bringing that up again, me. Game? <laughs> Look, she was definitely the most consistent player. All credit to her. And, yeah, I tried everything. It didn't quite work, obviously, because <laughs> I am sitting here and now I'm not out there. Um, yeah, so, yeah, fantastic. It's interesting. So we see Kelsey's semi-final. It really tested her, that one. And often that's maybe the one that you think, right, I got through that. You know, it was 20 all. She was yeah. game down, had one bowl left, and we saw a great drive to win it. And I can talk for that quarterfinal, too, against Brianna Smith. That that was an incredible standard of match. You know, Kelsey had to produce the absolute best to get through there. And there we go. There's the uh, there's the path for Lara as well. With um, you know, really, I mean, that was that big day where where she defeated yourself, Linz, and then went on and and did the same thing to Chloe Stewart um, to set up a, a, a big semi-final clash there with um, with Sharon Kavanagh. Yeah, look, they, like we keep saying, but they're just both such in good form. So I think both of them will go in confident. Um, Kelso probably slightly has a bit of the edge, I think, um, as a favourite, I guess, on paper. Um, but I saw Lara, Lara played uh, her sectional games here when I was here, and she was outstanding on this green. And I'm pretty sure on this rink as well, so that will give her a lot of confidence. Yeah, she's a very confident player, is Lara. She doesn't, not, not, much, um, not much gets her... Uh um, I think you've talked about that. You, you don't see a, a lot of emotion from her. She's just a very confident player that goes about the business. Oh, it's very stoic, calm, composed. I've seen the big stage many, many times. She's got that classic sweeping left-handed delivery as well. <laughs> I, I think that's where I went wrong the other day. I was trying to kind of follow it, and I'm a righty, so I'm like, what is going on here? Um, couldn't quite get the same line, but, uh, yeah. Ready to buckle in for this one. Both players use Drake's Pride. Lara using Adrenaline and Kelsey using Conquest. And for viewers there, you might be saying that looks like Laura. But uh, Laura. We'll, we'll, sort, we'll sort this out right now. <laughs> there is that Swiss, uh, Swiss influence and she does go by Lara. So first bowl, oh, just over a metre past on the, on the line. Yeah, I think this is where Kelso would be good to jump out the blocks. Like, Lara might be slightly more nervous, I think, just trying to find a range early. Um, you generally tend to push that first one or two, maybe a metre through, and just working back on it. So both girls wanting to probably get the first end is always a, a good little mini goal. You see both players. I wonder how much... I mean, we know Kelso sat alongside the rink in the uh, previous match and saw that this was the predominant side that the men's pairs chose to play. And both players have chosen that side of the rink, and Lara's come up with a very nice correction there. Yeah, I wondered how much Kelso was taking in of the game, because she's got a <laughs> two young children here, so I was uh, in mum mode for most of that, I think. But, uh, yeah, obviously she was here to support her clubmates uh, in Flynn and Nathan, who we just saw bow out in an, an epic grand final in the men's pairs. But... Um, multitasking at its finest. I will say there's a strong WA contingent in this crowd as well. Um, obviously, I know a few of the WA people that have come across for the Australian Open, and I can see quite a few of them out there cheering on Lara. He's very popular, very yeah. popular player. I definitely felt that the other day, and I feel like it's everywhere. Wherever there's WA players, there's such a great crowd support. Like, they're you know, supporting one of your own. It doesn't matter who it is, to be fair. Um, there's always lots of cheer squad for the WA crew. A switch of hand. Now we saw on the switch of hand that it was easy to come up a little bit short on this side, but Lara looks like she's handled this pretty well. All over the Jack Lara Butler. Kelsey now looking to either land the shot bowl or just turn the jack around the corner. Looks like she's just carrying a little on the outside. Now that's gone far enough to own the spot, but I don't think we'll be seeing any big weight from Kelsey. She can't afford to lose her own bowl. 
Want the win there. There we have Sienna Ava. We've got Poppy Graham, sister-in-law Danny. We can pan out. We've got Kelso's brother down the back, Wade. It's a big family affair here. And uh, front row next to Graham, we've just blocked out. We've got Nanny Sue. And the kids call her the chef or the cook or something. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> so, beautiful family. Yes, lovely. Lots of support. And Kelso credits them all the time. There's no way she could do what she does um, without their support, helping out. And partner Andrew Howie does a fantastic job running the events as well. Great shot here from Lara. She closes in for another. That's fantastic. Pops. Found her rhythm very, very early. Just one probably stray bowl, which was only a metre past the jack. So fantastic. So Kelsey looking to reach with this now. Look to land or trail. Last bowl of the first inch is on the outside of the target. So it's going to be a nice collect for Lara to get the scores moving, Liam. That it is. Two for Lara Butler on the first ends. All over the jack. Lovely start. Here in this singles final. First to 21, of course, the format. Kelsey Cottrell not far as away from home as well. From Club Helensvale, around a half an hour drive out of Gold Coast. There's those pesky miners that were an issue in the first game. <laughs> I feel like uh, Barry Lester brought that down. Poor old Jack McShane got barrierified. He was talking about these miners, and then next minute one nearly hit Jack in the face. <laughs> in a crucial, crucial moment of the match as well. But friend, they're friendly. Oh, it's sat there, it sat there to let him know about it too <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Certainly plenty of them around. They seem to like this green here. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, and, and it's not just AO time, it's like all the time. There's there's a little bird patch around Green 4 at Broad Beach. Lara with a nice opener again here. Just wants this to get all the way now. It's a beautiful start. Well, if you thought there might have been a few nerves, they're not evident at this stage. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be interested to see how we go with lengths in this game. So Kelsey predominantly favouring the T to T longer lengths. And um, when I played Lara the other day, she was definitely more of the shorter to medium length. So that could be a bit of a, a back pocket tactic for Kelso to try and find her range on. Not been scared to change hands so far either. Not far away again. Well, these two have found their range nice and early. As we talked about in the opener, Kels world number one. I don't think that was a real shock. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was speaking to her a few weeks back about the event and I was saying, oh, yeah, you know, should I come along? And you're obviously, you all want number one, and I'm actually like, oh, I thought that was meant to be a surprise. I'm like, um, mate, anyone that's been in the bowls world for the last 12 to months to two years is very much aware how great you are <laughs> and what she's won, obviously, Absolutely. to get that, that um, acknowledgement. Lara looking for a little, uh, just to change this up a little bit, a little touch of the jack around the corner, perhaps. That's, that's a great shot. <laughs> yeah, it was very open there for Kelsey to make a conversion. Tucked it away nicely for a two and a measure. Yeah, I've seen firsthand Lara's development over the years, you know, and she's just built her game to the point now that she has just a, a wonderful all-round game. You know, you'll see later on in the match that if there's a, if there's a shot to be played, she's got them all. Um, and, and the form and the confidence that she's been in, and I think it goes back to last year. I think you come over here, you, you have a great performance, you build that confidence, you land on here again, and you... So I know where I'm at. I'm comfortable with the way I played last time. Let's do it again. Yeah, and I, I think um, playing for Switzerland, like having that international competition and really mixing it with the best in the world um, and, and like winning some really good matches, that's got to give you confidence. So, uh, you know, playing in Australia, we are one of the, the toughest countries in the world to, to play in um, and to win titles at. So, um, yeah, she's, she's been in some sort of form and now has the confidence to match. Lara Butler has been absolutely keyed in out of the gates. Yeah, it was a bit unlucky to, to crash onto that. I think she was pretty good there. 
Still, it's a great setup for her. Look, in a way, she can almost be happy she didn't land anything there and make the target any wider. It's a tough one for Kelsey to get at. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I think Kelsey maybe still hasn't quite found her drawing rhythm, so whether she'll try draw it. There is a slight angle off the wing bowl on the forehand if she chooses. No, back to the back end. for the draw. Looks like it's just going to carry past and just on the outside. So another couple to Lara. Two more indeed. Make it four nothing after the first two ends. Great start for Lara. This is my new favourite angle, I've decided. I was watching yes, ringside and I've never seen it before. How great, just perspective of, of the ring and, and, you know, see we were followed some bowls up, but it's, yeah, really great angle. Well done to the team behind the team that is getting Absolutely. all these wonderful shots. You can see Kelso in the background taking a layer off. It's funny, uh, sometimes you think, maybe if I take a jumper off, I might start to get it a bit. <laughs> I, I, I must admit, I've been engaged before where I started in the jumper, and I'm playing really well, and I'm starting to get hot. <laughs> I'm saying I'm not, yes. I'm not taking the jumper off. <laughs> That's me as well. Yeah. It's so funny, right? Like, how does that even affect your bowls? But it's funny what our brains and mentality is like. <laughs> oh, what a start again. It just uh, this has just been her standard the entire tournament, which has seen the results, um, you know, pan out the way they have for Lara, and it's great that yeah, this hasn't overawed her playing in, in the grand final with nice crowd around and the energy's buzzing. It's um, fantastic she can provide this. I think she's just in a really comfortable space, you know, in terms of what she's doing and where she has in uh, where she's at in life, and it's coming out on the green. See uh, Kelsey changing up her hand, having a go at this backhand side of the rink for her. We didn't see too many bowls on it, but it was very kind when, when the boys did um, decide to play on this side of the rink earlier in the pairs final. Yeah, it looked different, but it was as long as you as long as you played it, you were yep. fine. Not too many problems for, for Lara at the moment. Another class draw. Well, that was perfectly played. You know, she had the chance just to pass, try the jack, or just land on her own and tidy that up. And she tidied it up perfectly. Yeah, it was pretty much a shot that Kelsey would, would have been trying to play when that ball was slightly stuck out to the left of the jack. Kelsey just needs to add a couple of feet on her first. She's nailed the line, just needs to work on the weight. I remember someone said to me once, if you can try and focus on your line early, weight will come. Yeah, it's finding that centre line. Players are really keen to find that centre line early. It's when you're struggling to get back that it seems to play with your weight as well. But this rink is playing beautifully. Yeah, big credit to the green staff and, and everyone involved in providing such quality greens. Just needs to run slightly here, Lara. Lovely line again. You can underestimate that, Lynn. These, these greens take a pounding over the two weeks, and I know that they've taken a pounding in the lead-up as well with other events that have been here at Broadbeach and, and on the Gold Coast. So, I mean, there is, there is not a blemish on this rink. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, a bit of a groan there from Kelso. <laughs> She's just struggling to find her range early. She is a bit of a fighter, Kelso, so she'll know, you know, even though Lara's playing quite well, if she can just find her own zone a little bit and really make her work for it as opposed to giving her a free run at the moment. The fight was on show in that semi-final against it Dawn was. Heyman. I mean, you, you won't play a better player than Dawn Heyman, and uh, she really had to dig deep to get that win. Definitely. Dawn is one of the best fighters as well. They're, they're very similar, yeah. um, you know, really gritty and determined and um, just classy draw shots and... Yeah, Kelso almost had it sewn up at about 20 to 14 or 2015, and Dorney just hung and hung and hung, and next minute it was 20 all, and Kelsey's down down game with just one bowl left. It was a, a crazy great semi-final. Lara just coming up short there a minute. 
She would have loved to have another counter in there, but if she was going to come up short, it's not a bad time to do it when she's sitting right on the back of the jack. The thing it does do is it makes Kelso relax a little bit because she's probably only two down and hasn't quite got a bowl within a metre. This is one of her closest coming in here. Just needs to get down to the jack. This is a great shot. Brilliant shot. Oh, just uh, Lara not making that last one count, I think. Release the pressure valve a little bit, and uh, exactly what Kelsey needed. Converts and takes the count. One shot for Kelsey Cottrell. First of the final, 4-1 now, the scoreline. Beautiful draw. Opens her account. And Kelsey, the first off the map. Five-time world champion, world number one. Com Games gold medalist. Yes, if you went through the list of achievements, you'd just about make it to the end of the game, I think. <laughs> <laughs> she has definitely done it all in our sport. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's hard to, to remember 20 years ago making a debut for Australia at 15 years of age. Uh, and it yeah, hasn't really been or looked back since. I mean, we saw it with Nathan Rice in the previous match, didn't we? You know, the player that's just been at the top of their game, both players been at the top of their game for so long. Yeah, we see this uh, longer length, maybe just sorting, sorting Lara out a bit here. Just needs to find her range again, just a little bit through the head, which isn't bad when you're, you're playing a long length first up. Well, we know that Kelsey doesn't fear a long, long she length. She <laughs> loves it. And everybody knows it. Yeah. So <laughs> people don't play it much against her. No. Well, certainly a good bowl there. Yeah, I think, yeah, um, you know, you find on the longer lengths, you don't necessarily have to nail it as much. Like if you can kind of get a couple in the zone, uh, your opposition might get one in there, but it gives you a good chance to attack or, um, yeah, you generally find it's a bit freer on those T to T ends. Correction from Lara runs into the bowl, so still still had a little bit of pace on that, but yeah. she'll take that as a result. Yeah, just a little bit of an acknowledgement from her was yeah. slightly heavy. But you can apologise, but you still take it. A little That's bit like correct. a net court in tennis, <laughs> you, you can apologise, but you still take it. <laughs> Just be on the quick side again. Not much, but just too far. Chance now for Lara to just back off that weight a little bit. Yeah, probably needs from just slightly past. If you can sit in front of the, the back ones of Kelsey's, would be very handy home. And that's the track she's on. Needs to land. Oh. That was probably unlucky to, to get through the gap there, but not a bad home. It's two goals in front. All right, well, Kels will just be on the draw here. She'll take the trail as a bonus, but it'll be draw, it'll be draw mindset. There's that angle you like, Vince. I do. <laughs> I love it. Whoever's <laughs> in charge of that. <laughs> Thank you. Just so unique. I just, yeah, don't Tell you what, this see is it. close this is, What too. an angle we've got here. It's a hold a bit for the jack. Oh, great effort. Close. How much did it get away? Measure. It got away late. Looked like it was going to land for shot, but just kept rolling and now it's tight. Lara with last say on this end. Open head draw. Can she add to this lead? to be just travelling a little, which is, I mean, really, that's been common for her four bowls on that end. The, the one that's there did, did run into Kelsey's bowl. Tate might come out here. I think so, Clive. Here is the tape. Measure for one. Trims the lead to two shots. Kelsey Cottrell comes up at the end. 4-2 reads the scoreline. 
at the end of four here. Lara Butler with the lead. Stick around. Women's singles final continues here on the Gold Coast after this. Welcome back to the Australian Open here on the Gold Coast. You join us in the fifth end of the women's singles final in the Sunshine State. 4-2 is the scoreline, favouring Lara Butler. We've got a really tight head here as well, forming in the fifth end. Might be a measure at the moment. Kelsey Cottrell on the mat with one apiece remaining. William Ellison, Clive Adams and Lindsay Clark with you in commentary. I think we're just seeing a draw shot here from Kelsey, although... Mm. Looks like she's lining up. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Oh, she's worried. She's going to slip on that mat at the moment, is her concern. Right, so we can take away the draw shot. She wants to play weight. <laughs> yeah, she must favour she's down. Really needs to get a grip. You do sort of kind of launch off your back foot when you're well, when you're playing a little bit of weight. I think she might have changed her mind on the shot she's going to play. Maybe it was a sign from above. <laughs> no. No, she's lying yep. up weight again. Yep. Okay. Assessing, there's the weight from Kelsey. Looking for both bowls. Oh, she's got one of them out, that'll do the job. Lara still with one to play. Took long enough. <laughs> took, took long enough. <laughs> Just letting up a little bit of steam there, young Kelsey. Kelsey holding the count. All right, with the right of reply to extend this lead. Wide open head for a draw. Well, her reply is weight as well. And that looks to be wide of the target. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, a little, a little bit interesting right. considering Lara's draw shot has been absolutely exceptional uh, so far. Although we were on that T to T kind of length where she was te technically heavy the last time she played it, but yeah. they're the ones out there playing the the shots. Which uh, you know, at the end of the day, you got to play what you think you're going to get. Especially when you're playing singles, because you've got no responsibility to anybody else. You play the <laughs> shot you want to play, and you see if you can get it. Yes. And you bear the consequences as well. So that's correct. Yep. Halves the margin back to a sh single shot. Yes, and just a reminder, you do see the ends displayed there. That, that those ends are more for interest than anything else. It's uh, it's first to score 21, and we do play the respot rule in the singles as well. Three single ends in a row now for Kels, after Lara took the first two. for length here with the jack roll right on that T-spot. That's a nice draw from Kelsey. Yeah, that's, that's the most solid first bowl we've seen from, from Kels. Yeah, I feel like that last end, that little bit of you know, drama, I guess, maybe a, again, release a bit of pressure bell for Kelsey. She doesn't feel too much pressure, but I think you know, she probably puts that on herself a little bit. Harry Lester's got a special guest with him, Olivia Cartwright from Moama Bowling Club. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, Olivia, all the way up from Moama Bowling Club, the home of one of our BPLs. Uh, Olivia, you're working at the club. Uh, you come away, get a bit of time off from Moama. I think it was about two degrees the other day. Get some sunshine. How have you enjoyed the Australian Open so far? It's been great. I mean, we've been pretty privileged with the weather here. Um, this is, like I was saying, the coldest day probably by far that we've had. But it's great to come up here. Great greens, great weather and great people. 
Moama Bowling Club, one of the most prestigious and biggest clubs in Australia or in the world. What's it like working there and having the support of the club when you come away for an event like this? Yeah, so it's pretty handy. Um, I also like study as well, so it's quite hard to juggle everything. But, you know, they're pretty, pretty good to be able to um, support you in coming away and, yeah, to help you strive. So you've made two quarterfinals and a semi-final. Is it obviously a dream of yours to one day to be out here right now, seeing these two, two superstars in action, to be out there one day, either in a singles or a team event, come away with an Australian Open win? Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I had a pretty good campaign this year, two quarters in the semi. We just missed out on the pairs um, this morning. But, yeah, it was a good experience last year, obviously. It managed to snag the fours win, so it was it was great to have that experience and it definitely leaves you eager wanting more. So, yeah, hopefully in the future, who knows what can happen. And with everything that goes on in the game, you've got state level, you've got big tournaments, Australian Open. Is this the pinnacle for you? Is this the one that you say, all right, we've got the fours last year. Is it something you just put on the radar to come away from and try and get that singles or pairs discipline moving forward? Yeah, definitely. Um, five years ago, I come over for my first one and I was, you know, just a 15-year-old kid, like, coming away. Like, I've just kind of really started, so... It was great for, um, yeah, you know, just these, to experience it and now coming yeah, back, it's definitely something I enjoy and um, it's definitely making me strive and come back each year. Well, thanks for your time. Olivia Cartwright from Mumbai Bowling Club, already an Australian Open winner last year, making the finals again this year, only at 20 years of age. That's what the event's all about. Uh, great stuff, Barry. Keep an eye on Olivia and big shot there, Clive. Might be an opportunity for Olivia to get in the commentary as well. She was, she looked after that one, although she is she was uh, Lara's partner in the pairs, so uh, no surprise that uh, and they were in the fours together. So no surprise that she's barracking for uh, for Lara and was pretty happy with that shot. Although that bowl of in the ditch of Kelsey's was a toucher that went in with the jack. Nevertheless, she's only one down instead of three down. Into. Yes, that is true. Yeah, Kelsey will be pretty happy, even though she's yeah is one down. At least she still has the shot. <laughs> um, I think sometimes when your opponent um, executes a good one against you, and she was definitely in the target, you're hoping that you maybe can hang on for at least one or two, maybe. Another chance here. She's played three really good shots so far. Not far off the mark if she slips through the gap. Who's that? Oh, just crushing. A few little uh, comments coming from Kelsey. There was a last, there was a last, <laughs> di there was a last ditch miss it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then crashed right into it. Yeah, I've never had that happen before. I was like, I don't know what to do. Uh, we've got Ian Hastings, I think, is doing some ringside coaching with Kelsey. So Ian uh, was on our tour for the World Bowls with the Jackaroos. He was ringside with us, uh, I think, for one of our fours and triples matches, actually. So fantastic uh, support person. Green Keeper's nightmare. Not a lot on here for Lara. She'll just try and draw as close as she can here. Almost impossible to draw the shot. Drawing to the ditch. Lara doesn't look too interested. I'll tell you what, it's a fair effort. <laughs> Yeah, I think the, end, the way that end was shaping up, she's probably pretty happy to go one down in that one. Four singles scored in a row for Kelsey after Lara was on the board with two twos to get us started. Four shots apiece in the race to 21 and an Australian Open singles title. Well, the settling period's done. Now it's... Uh, Four all, what's gone before doesn't really matter. First to score 17 from here, we'll get it done. Yeah, I think that's a, one of the best bits about singles. It doesn't matter how far, you know, in front you let your opponent get, you can always chase them down. So yeah, you just got to have that fight about you and that patience sometimes. And I think Kelso probably didn't have her best couple of ends, her first few ends, and has found a range a bit better now on these longer lengths. Yeah, and you also don't have to chase them down quickly. I mean, we've seen it done in four ends, just scoring ones. Interesting, Kelsey choosing to go to the backhand side. 
now and Lara sticking with the also the backhand side but it's the other <laughs> side because she's left handed and has come up with a nice first bowl there as well shared honours if you like for the first two bowls of this end this will be interesting now with them with both with the players playing opposite sides of the ring it can put pressure on one or the other to switch and go with the other player yeah i think because uh kelsey didn't quite grasp those first couple of ends on the side lara was absolutely nailing uh, she thought she'd give this other side a go early and she happened to to score on those couple of ends and probably just sticking to what she feels like is working for her but there's no reason lara needs to change or, or change anything up she's found really good rhythm on that uh, side of the green so far she'll just keep a close eye on what's happening on that side of the rink and if it looks kind of may have a look there herself but as you say doesn't need to at this point really smooth and steady technique Kelsey Cottrell hasn't changed much over the years no oh, she got to the jack sorry then down but probably set up quite nice for a last ball coming in she certainly had plenty of interest on the way down so that she did that's the jack too the advantage flora butler though i love how the girls have coordinated the bowls to their outfits today that's a, that helps <laughs> us out and the crowd sometimes blue shirt blue balls Peach. Would you say peach, guys? Is it yeah, seven? the peach. peach, peach? Well, yeah. Barry went with peach, so peach. I'm, I'm happy to back <laughs> Barry in. So. He would know, he would know that. Yep. He's a man of style. <laughs> a few questions asked there by Lara, which is good. Can be a little bit deceptive from the other end of the green, just to, to gauge the depth of where the bowls are in relation to the jack. Yeah, it was certainly a desire to get round and get to that last bowl of Kelsey's, but Obviously, Kelsey's got one coming in there as well, so we're just working out exactly the range that she had. It's a fair effort. Don't think that's quite going to make any difference at this point, but it's another one in the area. Yeah, it's probably another third shot, which uh, makes Kelsey's second one probably a little bit vulnerable. Interesting to see what she plays here. Confirm that. And there's just one shot to Ballara at the moment. There's a chance she could get under her front bowl on the backhand and with nice weight, her second shot's a little bit protected. She swapping to the forehand. Try and get another one in the area. mile away at all in that's a very good shot there from Kelsey she did give too much away I'm not sure if she knew it was on a good line or not so is there a temptation to attack this for, for Lara if she gets the she gets Kelsey's bowl onto her own bowl she could actually make three out of this I think I think she'd go for that there's not too much risk I think the worst case scenario is one worse so definitely worth a, a, a go at this one early on in the game at four all so shot bowl onto her second shot both the yellow bowls leave. She's got at least two waiting for that. And if her own bowl hangs around, the one, the one that's uh, squeezed between the two at the moment, yeah. get a nice collect. Second prize could be the jack as well. You just never know. Steely focus. It is weight. She's watching it, getting down behind it. Needs it to hold on now. That will be another one on the board. Five ones in a row for Kelsey Cottrell. It's wide on the drive, and Kelsey, as you noted, Clive, on a roll here. Five four, early days in this women's singles final. It, it, it's an interesting one because Lara's losing ends, which is only dropping ones, and, and that it, it, it can have some comfort in that to say, well, okay, things aren't quite going my way, but I'm only dropping ones that can be made up. Uh, very quickly with just one good end in reply. 
Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, Clive. I think the trouble is this longer length end. Kelsey's really sort of grouping hers in there now as opposed to early on when she maybe was a bit scratching around and got one good one here and there. Uh, for me, it was back to that, I think, I don't know, the second or third end where Lara kind of let Kelsey in. She was only two down, and, and Kelsey played that shot to score, and then she's got to her favourite length and really finding her zone from now on. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what Lara can come up with if she can pinch an end. We see the family. Team Cottrell Howie crew. I'll just call that's Ava, the young little Ava, I call her Mini Kelso. <laughs> she looks so much like Kelsey. And then you've got Sienna, who's just, you can't see her face, but she's like a Mini Howie. So there she is. <laughs> so little Andrew and little Kelso. Cuties. <laughs> yep. Ava doesn't have Kelso's calm demeanor, though. She's a bit of a firecracker in the nicest possible way, as we see a lovely, uh, lovely draw shot there by Lara. Now, did I hear last night that uh, Kelsey's brother's taking up, uh, taken up the sport as yeah, well? Yeah, he has. Actually, he's been playing a little while right. and, his, and his partner as well. Um, you know, very keen bowler. He must have it in the jeans because I think he goes pretty good as well. Right. Um, obviously, Maz, mum, mum as well, was a very good bowler. And, uh, yeah, he's doing very well. Plays at Helensville now with Kelsey. There we All see right. him. Would you pick that they were brother and sister? <laughs> Probably not. No. I feel like Wade looks very much like Maz. But, um, yeah, great supporter of Kelsey and, yeah, follows her around a lot. Really now, Lara, can she pair this one up? Because she's played a good first bowl, looks very good. Just needs it to land a little. It's two good bowls. Just what she needed at this stage. Yeah, settled back into what we saw the first few ends. Kelsey well, didn't quite get the jack all the way to that longer length. Such a difference. It mm. is such a difference because, you know, you get that full tee to tee and, you know, some people flirt with a little bit with the ditch. They're a bit nervous to get too too far past, but uh, you've got a heap of room there now. So not afraid to give your bowl a little bit of a chance. Kelsey trotting after this one. A little piece of the jack, but only to Lara's bowl. Yeah, still two, but probably a little bit better set up now. There's a chance both bowls could go. Mm. Whether Lara considers just making sure she gets the back here. Yeah, you tend to think if Kelsey got some of the jack, Lara's might go back with it, but I don't know, maybe another one covering count slightly behind. And that's what she's done. And that's just trying to try and talk Kelsey out of going for the two bowls, pretty much. I don't think she can go for the two bowls. I mean, if that doesn't quite work no. out, she could find herself three or four down the back of the ring. Nothing left after this bowl for, for Kelsey to rectify it with. So I think it'll just be an attempt to draw, maybe maybe land on the backhand, maybe? Yeah, I think so. A confident draw up there. You know, she could squeeze a jack to a, a wing bowl or sit the second shot. Although it looks like she's playing quite aggressive today. Well, this is back yourself, this. Yeah, she oh, she's not like happy it. with it. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a look there at Kelsey's tactics. So she's uh, not afraid to have a bit of a crack. Um, she has been hitting quite well. I've, I've played it with her in the fours and pairs. Um, obviously, she's a, a fantastic draw bowler, but backs herself if she's going to hit. So Right now, a big opportunity for Lara. Last bowl of the end. Can she add a third here? Just needs to get down under the wing one and run. Oh, not quite. The WA members of the crowd were riding <laughs> that one home. <laughs> they had the whip out. I think just this time of the day, I think a little bit of the run has just come out of the green slightly. But uh, a handy two to get Lara back on the scoreboard. Her third two-shot in so far of the final. And back into the lead with that as well. 6-5, Lara Butler. What does she do with the length of the jack is the question. Definitely like a little bit shorter. Shorter, yep. yes. Although it almost had to be because uh, <laughs> Lindsay had gone the long, longer length. But significantly shorter than what we've seen. A good, uh, good three or four metres shorter than the last few ends. We've seen Lara coming out of this, uh, well, her forehand side. 
Barry Lester's got the 2008 Women's Single Champion, Katrina Wright there, Barry. Yeah, I sure do, yeah, Katrina Wright. Uh, I went and grabbed her outside inside the clubhouse and said, come on, let's have a chat, and thanks so much for your time, Katrina. Uh, you're back at the Australian Open, you played in the team events this year, you didn't enter the singles, because you've won it before. What's it like to come back and see the Australian Open, you know, and go down the memory lane of 2008? Yeah, it's, uh, and it's an exciting event. Like, it's really good to be back around all the people I played almost 15, 20 years ago. Um, but, yeah, to still see Kelsey out here playing, I just love it. I'm a big supporter of her. So it's, it's really good to watch her do well, and uh, it's good to be back around all this atmosphere. It's fantastic. And you won the Australian Open, the Australian Champion Champion, Australian Indoor, you won so much in a short period of time, Australian Jackaroo. Talking about Kelsey, I think you might have even been her teammate when she debuted for Australia back in 2005 when she was a 15-year-old. So, you know, it's crazy to think what she's gone on and done in the game. Oh, 100%. So, Kelsey was my roommate back then and she barely said boo. <laughs> and now we can't shut her up. <laughs> she just, she loves to have a chat now and uh, she's really gone from strength to strength. And what are you doing these days? You play at Tarrant Point. What are you doing for work? And, you know, how do you, um, you know, juggle still a bit of bowls and your work life now? Yeah, so I now sell houses, so uh, that keeps me very busy. So I own a real estate agent uh, in the Sutherland Shire, um, and that keeps me super duper busy. I do play bowls now left-handed, so I've thrown an extra challenge into it. Um, so that's, uh, that's, yeah, that keeps me very busy. And uh, Katrina's quite a modest player, but you ripped four bowls out to win that title. Uh, you know, you just told me a bit, bit about it just then, but how does it feel to know that yeah, you've, you're part of history so, so long ago, and what do you think is going to be the result today? Well, I think, um, yeah, that was an amazing day, um, which I'll never forget, and playing Lena from Malaysia, she's such a tough uh, competitor. But the Bowls Australia president said, Kat, you can't let Malaysia win, so I had to get out there and really give it for Australia. Uh, but I think here today, I think Kelsey's experience will take over. Laura's played amazing for the last like week and a half. Her drawing is just impeccable. Her first couple of bowls in singles have been unreal. Uh, but I think Kelso's experience will uh, get her over the line today. Well, it's good to catch up. Thanks for your time to hang out with the legend of the game. You did so much when you were in the Australian Colours. Well done, Katrina. And all the best with the rest of your time on the Goldie. Thanks, Baz. Thank you, Barry. Great to hear from Katrina right there. Bowling left-handed nowadays. Yeah, I think she did an injury of some sort that restricted her from playing, as we see this one just missing the target narrow. Um, yeah, she did some kind of injury that restricted her from bowls, so she loves the game, obviously. You hear the passion as she speaks. Um, and yeah, such a, a great supporter of the game. Um, she, like she said, uh, she came along to most of our, our pairs and fours matches when she got knocked out. And yeah, just a great person to have around and Fantastic be very supportive. Fantastic player yeah. over the years as well. She has been, China. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, played a few games with her for Australia as well in some of the smaller events in the lead up to big com games and things like that. So really good person to have around, very positive. An opportunity for Kelsey Cottrell to strike back here. And get her first multiple of the match. That one's going to come up short. But it's still going to be Kelsey's first multiple. She grabs two Kelsey. shots. That she does. Three takes the lead. Seven, six here. Nine ends down in the women's singles final. First of 21, of course, in this format. Australian Open final between Kelsey Cottrell and Lara Butler here on the Gold Coast. Welcome back to the Broad Beach Bowls Club as we are right in the middle of the women's singles final here at the 2024 Australian Open. And Lara Butler is playing weight here to try and remove the two closest bowls of Kelsey Cottrell. She's very close and has got the jack. And it is rolled back with Kelsey's bowl. Kelsey's bowl's gone in the ditch. I think it'll still be one to Kelsey. Or is that a toucher? Yeah, I think it was a toucher. Oh, well, that is a, that is a dreadfully unlucky result for Lara. Yes, it is yeah. a toucher. You can see the chalk mark on it. So Kelsey finding her range there. Had two bowls right on it. Lara with the hit, but to no avail. And two more on the board to Kelsey. And she leads at nine shots to six.
Kelsey just looking to find, she's just finding her range now yeah, on her draw shot. I think that so. Means. Yeah, she, look, um, she, she's definitely found her range as we uh, have a little comfort stop, I think, Clive, is it? Yes, I think, uh, yes, I mean, look, uh, people watching on will see uh, Lara using the lifter and so forth. There is a reason for that, Linz. Yes, yeah, we were playing the other day and I was like, oh, have you got a, have you got a bad back? Made, you know, and she's like, oh no, actually I'm pregnant. I'm like, oh wow, okay. And you know, thinking she's only you know, a few months, whatever. She is five months pregnant, actually, and she said the lifter helps her not bend down and, and get on her bladder. So <laughs> um, I think she said to you she's okay with us sharing that information, so yes. we're not, you know, announcing the news to the world. Um, but yeah, she she does need to go to the toilet a little bit more often than normal, and I know exactly what that feels like, as would Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, we, you, you played some of your best bowls pregnant, didn't I you? I did, I did. It's funny, actually, uh, Lara and I were talking when we played, and Kelsey, Beck, Van Ash are saying, but when we were pregnant, we, we all played some of our best bowls. I don't know what it is. I think Beck mentioned maybe the hormones just make them more relaxed and chilled. Um, for me, I think I just felt, I, was, I don't know, more closer to the ground, like I didn't pop up too often, so I was just like had to sink into my delivery more, so I just executed better. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. But yeah, really excited um, uh, for them to start well, their What family. a wonderful sport that, you know, you can you can win Australian titles, which you did, um, somewhat heavily pregnant, yes. really. You were at seven and a half <laughs> months, weren't you, when yes. you won one of your titles? Yeah, look, I, um, I think it is a great sport for that as well. And the only thing I could do towards the end of my pregnancy was have a big drive, just because <laughs> my belly would not... And, and measure. Not, yeah, true, and measure. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it is a great sport for that. And I think because it's a gradual weight gain as as a player, I didn't really notice until afterwards. And I look back at photos of me playing and running down the green at seven and a half months. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so you see what Kelsey's done here is just waited long enough. Lara's on her way back now. We can see her heading back out to the ring. So Kelsey's waited just long enough so that she can roll the jack, play her ball and stay in, stay in the rhythm of, uh, of a normal end. <laughs> Young Sienna again, Kelsey's oldest girl. Had a little afternoon off school, which she'll be happy about. We heard Lurchie's kids excited <laughs> yeah. just before. So, yeah, Kelsey's girls and, and my crew go to the same school, so they'll be besties for um, oh, really? yeah, most of their life, I imagine, like me and Kelsey. So we see a fantastic start again from Kelsey. Yeah, we live about 1,500 metres from each other now, so it's funny how our lives have kind of aligned over the years. Couple of decades down. No, it's great, and it's great to know that the families can grow up together. Yeah, I think they kind of love coming to bowls, but mainly to hang out and you know have some chips and juice and <laughs> run around with other kids, as opposed to watching mum maybe win another Australian Open title. <laughs> <laughs> Lara Butler back on the mat. Kelsey with a great draw to start things off. Lara just needs just to hang on. I think it's going to drop just under the weight. It was perfect. Give it every chance. Yeah, it's probably not bad timing just for Lara to have that little bit of a break. She was um, kind of yeah, getting a little bit outplayed by Kelsey. They felt like there was a bit of a momentum shift. So just needing to reset and find a couple of good balls to, to get her scoreboard ticking over again. Feels like the next two or three ends are really important for, for Lara just to... Kelsey's found her range, and you know, I mean, really, we've seen Is it seven of the last eight. Seven ends of the last eight. Kelsey's won. Yeah. So, whilst there haven't been big scores, so it's not out of hand. Certainly, the momentum is there. So, Lara can just pinch a couple, put a couple on the board in a row. This is very, this is closer. Great shot nice here. Shot coming in. It's, oh, she is very unlucky to find that gap. So Kelsey's. You know, she's getting more consistent, but she's also had some good results go her way. A little bit of a rub of the green with that one. Millimetres, that's all it is. Yeah, I say to my crew, um, I've, I've got eight of the jackaroos in my, under my guidance, I guess, in the, my pathways role, but all you can do is ex execute the shot the way you want it to. You can't really control the result after that. So Lara did everything she could to sit the bowl or trail the jack and just unfortunate to go through that little gap, so we'll just want to do the same again. Barry, how's the conditions looking down on the green? Yeah, we've just, uh, well, actually just suggested the lights should be turned on because it's got quite dark down here. And uh, the green, you can see the bowls sitting down a lot more than what they were about an hour ago. 
So a little bit of moisture in the surface now. The bowls are sitting down a fraction, and I think that's going to help the players get their weight better and convert like we just saw Lara do there. So the temperature's probably dropped a couple of degrees. The lights are on. There's moisture in the surface, so it's probably the, the, the player that adapts to that quicker. So I think if Lara does win this inch to fight back the momentum, it's probably going to have to be some kind of length change, so we'll wait and see. Yeah, it's an interesting one, that, that uh, Barry's getting out there. Barry, it, it enables you just to play the more direct game a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe play those landing shots just a little bit more when the pace of the green just comes off a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. It probably makes you a bit more confident with that shot, and you probably um, bring it out more often, knowing that, um, you know, the bowls aren't running on as much. But you can clearly see the bowl just sitting down a little bit more in the softer grass. And, uh, yeah, believe it or not, I can't believe we've actually had the ask for the lights on, but <laughs> there is a lot of cloud cover, cover around at the moment. You've asked for the lights, Baz, and they have listened because they are on. <laughs> what Barry says goes, Linz. Yeah, he's a man around here, so he tells me. <laughs> not really, just joking. <laughs> but he does a, a fantastic job, Baz. He's one of the best promoters in the game and, uh, yeah, does a lot for our sport. So you're very lucky to have... Um, have his guidance here at Broadbeach in his role here. Well, Lara played that perfect land. She was unlucky with the second. She made up for that with the third and now an opportunity to draw a third shot here and close this margin back to square. These are opportunities when you have last bowl. They are invaluable. I don't know that it's got the journey. And it might just be that slight speed change. Yeah, I think half an hour ago, maybe it would have just had that finish, but... Uh... Too handy. Again, Kelsey probably thinks a bit of a let off. But, uh, at this stage of the game, I think Lara, any score is uh, happy. Happy days. Two indeed it is for Lara Butler. One four ends, two shots each. Each when she, and she's won. Absolutely. She's capitalised when she's got them. She just uh, four ends of the 11 that have played, and of course the last four ends that have been played have all been twos, and a two each. Two to Lara, two to Kels. Approaching the halfway mark of this tightly contested women's singles final. It's like first bowl's important for Lara at the moment, just to get it in range, and that's that's a good start. Yeah, I feel like when she gets her first one there, she, she's very good at backing it up. Like she just puts the pressure on. Yeah, if she can get that one and another one round in the zone and then it sets herself up for a good end, whether she's you know, holding shot or not, she's got options. And it just prevents Kelsey from just, well, it doesn't prevent her from getting close because she always gets <laughs> close, but uh, yeah, it just prevents her from taking hold. Change of hand. Lara switching to her forehand. Just with the idea of any nudge of the jack going to her own bowl or landing Kelsey's first attempt. Not far away at all. In the area, dictating the map once more, Lara. Away that end to end length for Kelsey. Holding shot at the moment. Interesting that. Kelsey tried to correct. She didn't really need to. It may have been just that she played it underweight, but um, didn't really need to correct. Could have landed, trailed. Now gives Lara the chance to do the same. They're owning each side of the rink at the moment on this end. Clear run here would be interesting. And that'll do for shot. Yeah, the, uh, you know, didn't run away too much that one as well. Again, it's just the edges taken off the green with that cooler temperature, as Barry mentioned. Centimeters. Oh. Very clear indication from our official. See, also swapping to the backhand side of the rink. So we've run slightly. It's 
certainly have found over the tournament that once the shadows roll in, the pace of the green can come off a little bit. It seems that's what's happening at the moment. It's so difficult when you're, difficult when you're not rolling them yourself, Lings, to, to get a feel for that. But it certainly, the finish looks like it's not as um, pronounced as it was yeah. earlier. Yeah, and I, th I think it's a cold as well. Like, it just... That the coldness in the air seems to, I don't know whether it dampens the green or, or I'm not a <laughs> green keeper or not too much knowledge on that technical side of things, but it's something that definitely happens out there. you just got to be aware of it and, and start to, you know, play what you see as opposed to how you feel. Really nice art coming in. Now the angle in. This means it's a land and that will do nicely. Four very good bowls there from Lara. A willing Holding crowd. Two. Willing crowd get behind her. Yes, it's uh, when you're a when you're a bowler, it means you play on the greens. It's a bit like driving a car, isn't it? I don't know how it works, but I just get in the car and drive. Yeah. It's a little <laughs> little bit like that with the bowls, isn't it? That is very true. <laughs> yeah. Present me a nice surface, and uh, and and, and I'll, I'll I'll play the bowls. I don't need to know how uh, how you do it. <laughs> Two down, Kelsey. We can generally tell with the body language. It's a little bit heavy, she's thinking. She's right. She may drop back. No. Well, how far did she push that ball? I think it's still only two. We'll look at three. Well, Lara's going for the measure, I think. Yeah. Looks like the blue one's belly is a bit closer. Oh, yeah. Kelso just asking if <laughs> she wants her to measure, but Lara is more than happy to get down. That's what we like to see, some consideration. I think that looks like three. Uh, yeah, I'll come back to it just for this. Like a firm it's touch on the blue yep. and a light yep. touch on the yellow. Three. There you have it. Three for Lara Butler. And the highest scoring end so far in this women's singles final. Two shot lead to the Swiss international. Well, she scored just when she needed to, hasn't she? Yeah. Down 9-6, it felt like the momentum was with Kelsey. And, I mean, didn't feel like it, it was. Yeah, definitely, Clive. And I think as well, it's a little bit of an, another mini goal achieved, like trying to get to that double figure stage first. Um, she's now only 10 shots off the required, 21 needed to win her first ever Australian Open singles title, Lara. But still a lot of work to be done yet. Well, in the area with the first. What a great start. Lovely opener. Putting the pressure right back on Kelsey. Lara's won singles titles in WA. No, no um, stranger to the singles format. Nice reply from Kelsey. It's a little bit short, but in the knock-up zone, I would like to say, <laughs> when I put yeah. my balls there for her. I just hit that in for me, mate. It's not been easy over the years to win singles titles in WA when Christina wins yes. her share and... Uh, and Therese, Therese. Has had, Therese has had a share over the years <laughs> as well, Therese Hastings, who's sitting alongside the rink watching on. Just changing hands, it's not a bad home there for your uh, first one. Generally when you, you change hands there's a tendency to drop a little bit short, so nice to overplay it with your first one and work back from that. Finding a handy home. Onwards of the Jack. Well, that, so Lara did play for WA over the years, hasn't she? Uh, yeah, Before certainly. she, she yes. um, went to Switzerland. So yeah, how some many people years would have been familiar with her as, as Lara Mertz. Um, but now Lara Butler, of course, married to Blake. And uh, both very good players, actually. Blake, Blake played for the state yep, team uh, in the Nationals 2023 as well. Um, so, you know, quite quite a number of games she would have played for WA. Seeing Lara at another one, but she has given Kelsey a good angle. Just needs to work in off her own, either edge of hers. Seeing 
to hang on. Just coming under the line. Lara still holding the two. Big moment in this final. Three shots in the last end. She may get another big count here in this 13th end. Drawing for a third. So I can confirm Lara made her. Oh, I just watched the ball come in. It's in the area as well. Nice to wait from Kelsey with her last. Mm. Lara made her debut for WA in 2013. She's played 65 games. This was a shot we saw earlier to get Kelsey on the scoreboard, which uh, started her run of ends. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see what she chooses to play here. She could play the, the control blade style to split through the front or just go a bit bigger. Looks like more controlled with the stance on the mat. It's looking to work in off her own, get the edge onto the jack would be the idea. It's more a draw than anything. And she's very close. Lara's already it's clapping. That's a great shot, Percy. Much needed. <laughs> She's happy with herself. A little bit of a little bit of a clap. Why bother playing weight when you can do that? <laughs> Sublime from Kelsey Cottrell. Look at this. Found the gap. Cut out three. Laura Butler rolled off five shots in the previous two ends. Of course, not only cuts out three, but it's effectively a four-shot turnaround with that one bowl. And 11-10 uh, now the scoreline. Lara still in front, but uh, that could have been a real game-breaking opportunity for Lara. Also on the back of the fact that Lara had picked up a two and a three on the previous two wins. Yeah, much needed uh, draw shot there from Kelsey. Just release the pressure valve again, I think, on herself. Back to the longer lengths. The only difference with the longer length now is it's going to feel a little different anyway because it's a little bit more of a push now. That might, in a way, suit Lara that maybe it didn't earlier on in the match as Kelsey opens with a fantastic first ball. Very tight final ensuing here. Of course, these two met in the semi-final last year in the Australian women's singles. who just joined us. It was Kelsey Cottrell who prevailed on that one. Just missed on the outside. Yes, 21-14 that scoreline. But I, I, I do feel like it was a closer game than that in a mm. sense. Yeah, Lara definitely played really well. Kelsey just yeah, had a couple of really big ends uh, to convert. and run away with a nice little lead in the end. Harry Lester's found another familiar face in the crowd. He's got Nathan Black with him. Yeah, one of my favourites, young superstar from South Australia, now a, a jackaroo, and uh, the current world under-25 singles champion, walking away with the big prize over in Scotland last year. First of all, how did that feel to be the uh, under-25 champ of the world, mate? Uh, yeah, no, it was uh, awesome, awesome to get the win over there. Obviously, uh, a bit different the weather was over there. It's very cold, but yeah, no, it was awesome, awesome to get the chance to play on that. About four or five years ago, everyone was talking about Nathan Black, this young kid from South Australia coming through the ranks, and you, you went on to win the Adelaide Masters a couple of years ago, and from there, it's sort of looked like you haven't looked back at all. Nathan, you've been putting a lot of time into your game. You feel like you can match it with the best now, mate? Uh, yeah, obviously it's a lot of time on the green, a lot of practice goes into it during the week, like usually for me, Mondays and Thursdays usually out on the green before playing on weekends, yeah. And what about the Australian Open? Um, you guys are up here from Adelaide, come over and have a good time and just take in the sun and enjoy the sights? Uh, yeah, exactly right. Yeah, the, uh, the weather is certainly something we do appreciate when we come over here. It's, uh, I think it's 12 degrees back home, so yeah, loving the weather. And what's coming up next? Australian Opens, obviously you come to an end for yourself, but mate, what about uh, future tournaments, big events? What, what's on the radar for you? 
Uh, so uh, got the Golden Nugget coming up uh, end of July. Obviously a huge privilege to be named in such a awesome field. So really looking forward to give that a crack. Well, keep an eye on Nathan Black, World Under 25 singles champ, and mate, all the best in the Nugget. What a prestigious event it will be, and we just wish you best with your bowls future. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. Nathan Black emerging through the ranks, isn't he, Clive? Yeah, I think we can conclude if Bowles doesn't work out for him, he can become a other man. He's, uh, he's got it all covered. <laughs> he's such a good dude, Blackie. <laughs> he, he doesn't often give us a smile or give us much emotion, so it was nice to see him there having a chat. I'll tell you what he did do is he won the Mega Bowl uh, on uh, Saturday night as well and took a nice little uh, nice little prize home for the Mega Bowl. The 25 so. centimetres. One bowl singles. Yeah, it's another good thing about the Australian Open, all the like yeah, supporter events and the, the things going on around the joint, not just the Australian Open disciplines, but yeah, fantastic initiative. The, the Mega Bowl, one Get bowl. Get yourself involved in that next year, Liam. <laughs> one bowl singles, you always a chance. <laughs> Don't know about that club. <laughs> Get involved though. Yeah. Sounds like involved. a lot of fun. My mum, seven years ago to the day, my my mum won the first ever Mega Bowl here at the Australian Open. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, she did. Know. Wow. I'm okay. like, oh, good coaching, Lindsay. <laughs> Two for Kels. Yep. Retakes the lead. Yeah, Kels is a good one. Yeah, she's a good one. What a tight final we're watching here. It's exchanging the lead so many times. Yeah, there's been nothing in it. I'm just having a look at that. I'm all, Obviously, Lara had that early lead, four shots to nil, but since then there's been only three shots, uh, the difference. So, we race towards 21. It's funny because you can have an 11 and 12 score, 11, 12 score line and you're nice and close. And it takes a player to just reel off a couple of ends, and we see it, don't we? Yep. Linz, you, you blink know? and suddenly you, you drop a three and a three and they're in the checkout zone. and. Yeah, it can happen very, very quickly. You end up with a 21-14 type scoreline, and some of two was closer than that. Let's see how these next two ends play out. Is Kels just going to pull up on the edge? I like to see bowls pull up on the edge like that. It just shows that the green is just perfect. You know see sometimes they get near that edge and they uh, get a bit of a thirst for the ditch and then <laughs> drop in but that one right on the edge and happy to stay there oh, with nice weight there Kelsey back at her preferred trademark longer length has one parked right on the edge of the drink this one also just carrying a little i think it will get down for shot now lara with her opportunity to make her correction crowd on the edge of their seats here Not far away, just needs to settle. That little edge will do it. Bowl for bowl on this end. Kelsey trot, trotting down after this one and yeah, How much, Jack? Not enough. Two but seconds, though. Yeah. yeah a Second prize. Yeah. yeah. That makes this bowl absolutely crucial from Lara. Must either count or, at the very least, just drop in behind. Certainly going to help, but how is this going to sit? Looks to sit well. Yeah, there's a little chance on the forehand there now. You can see, uh, yeah, the, the front blue bowl of Lara is slightly short of the, uh, the actual shot. So there's a chance for Kelsey to get both bowls or run the jack in. Kelsey does have that one on the ditch. It'll just be that searching kind of weight, just nothing over the top, just a nice searching weight. 
only danger for Kelsey is if she's a little bit tight in the moves her own, because I think it's only one down at the moment, but um, she'll put that out of her mind and play the shot. Yeah, I think she'll be definitely be aiming for the, the wing bowl. Therefore, if she is tight, she might actually just get the shot out clean. Big bowl in the context of this match. See the controlled weight we spoke of. Looks tight. Needs to hang on. She's got her own. That was the concern. So that now is two for Lara and room to draw another. Yeah, it's probably the only place you didn't want to miss was, was uh, that bowl tight. It's one of those ones, as soon as you think about the zone you're going to miss <laughs> in, you miss miles, miles on the other side. So you've just got to back yourself and play the shot. That's what she did. So an opportunity now, that we talked about these last bowl opportunities. It's not, not the most simplest of draw shots, but it is on to draw another. Yeah, this is a times where you, you're holding a nice two, a bonus two, really, so you don't want to be tight and heavy. <laughs> That's uh, bowls law number one. When you're holding, don't be tight and heavy. <laughs> okay, so she's not that. That's a safe <laughs> one, I think. The opposite of that, short and wide. <laughs> Make sure of it. Another two on the way of Laura Butler retakes the lead once more. We've been trading the lead on every end over the last four running now. 13-12 favours Lara. 15 ends gone. It is the race, of course, to 21 in the women's singles finals here on the Gold Coast the Broad Beach Bowls Club. Welcome back aboard in the 16th end here and have been all over the jack as Lara Butler just nudged this one out with the perfect draw to currently hold shot here on the Gold Coast in the women's singles final. Lara's retaking control of the mat after winning the last end and now Kelsey Cottrell is planning her attack. There's a little opportunity for her to bump the shot bowl to the jack and couple of bowls waiting on a nice angle. The only thing she was trying to weigh up is, can the shot bowl go onto hers clean without the jack moving? I think she was just trying to make sure there was no risk involved. Just took a little bit of time weighing that up. She's looking to see whether all of them go if she hits them. She's shaping up more and just conservative, I think. I'm definitely looking to, to move something. No doubt about that. Close. She's very close. Just needs a good edge. Where's it going? That's a great shot. Oh, What's going with it? She's stiff to, to move the that shot might, bowl back. It might actually be two. Two paddles are ready in our officials' hands. That is an unlucky result. There was always a chance the bowl could go yeah. with it. She just got a, a too fat an angle on it, I think. You know, any any side, other side angle, it would have just been at the jack out there for maybe one down, but a little bit stiff there. Wants to check the second one, I think. Nice. Make sure of it with the measure. Yeah. This could put Lara up by three. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, two. Two. Yeah. Two it is. <laughs> now Lara Butler, five shots away from the title. Well, she needs six, but... Uh, <laughs> well, get, <laughs> back to math school for you, Liam. Back <laughs> yes, to I math school. Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Even I could have got that one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> We'll let you off. One, oh, one mistake's OK. 15-12. <laughs> Scoreline. Do your own math at home. <laughs> yes. But, you know, it's uh, we talked about these couple of ends. They've gone the way of Lara. It's another couple on the board, and 
series will get interesting. Yeah, I love to see it when it gets to that sort of 17, 18 stage when you are in, you know, you only need three to win or four to win. It just shows the character of the players so much. It can change so, the shot. Oh, play, it can. It? Yes. So much. You know, how people handle that pressure. Do they go defensive mode? Do they try and win the title? It's a really exciting time in the singles matches for me. We've all been in that situation where you, you know, you're on 18 or 19, you go, I can... I can make two or three here. Oh, if I miss some money one down, I can afford yep. that. <laughs> and then it all goes pear-shaped, right? <laughs> yes. I'm sure these girls are a bit better than us, Clive, that, they yeah. that won't happen to them. <laughs> Kelsey with a nice reply here with her first bowl of this end. Yeah, exactly what she needed after uh, losing that little, little bit of momentum there to Lara. Well, the last eight ends of the match we've seen both players get two ends in a row and then the other players try it back for two ends in a row do you love a good pattern yeah it's shaping up that way after the first few bowls have gone down probably lara's loosest start uh, starting two bowls in the match actually she's been pretty solid with that it's interesting how the order you play bowls makes a difference you know you get on with the first one and then play a couple of bowls like that, it doesn't really matter so much. But <laughs> Very suddenly, true. suddenly the pressure builds on this third bowl. Yeah, um, Claire Turley and I work a little bit together with our athletes in the Jackaroo system up here in Queensland, and she's, Claire's a great stats person, and she analyses a lot of singles matches. And the amount of times the person holding shot, when you're holding two on the crossover, like the, after your first two bowls, is up there at like 80%, you can win the end. So the first two bowls, like Jack and first two bowls skill is so crucially important. A little bit of a wayward end for Lara here. And you'd expect when she plays her last bowl, she's going to be two down. With this one from Kelsey. And around about a metre to draw. She's going to be at least two. Measure of that next one. A really, really good third bowl coming in. Right in on that jack. This is where you know Lara quite well, Clive. Is she nervous at this point where she's kind of sprayed a few? and Or is she like, right, I'm better than this. I, I can do this. I don't think she's nervous. The problem she's got now is she can't get the jack to her bowls. Mm -hmm. So this is just going to have to be... Second shot. Have to give it a chance. Yeah, I mean, I think so. It's got the opportunity to land in there. I think you'd be more looking to land on the bowls or get a little slide off the front. She's right in the area. Just needs to get this what really a shot nicely. This is. Oh, oh, that's a shot. cracking shot. Spray three, got one crucial bowl in there. That was the land we were talking about. Played it very, very well. She does play those shots very well. Always has. Kelsey now being asked a question. She's got at least two seconds. Same shot, really. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of weight she plays. It's not like Lara played that so well, but it is not the easiest no. weight. She made it look easy. It is not the easiest weight to play. She probably can't afford to go too big if Lara's got the backers bowl on the rink. Oh, massive shot from Lara Butler. Can Kelsey strike straight back? Big way it is. Going bigger, still looking at it. Needs a solid jab. Oh, that's oh. worked out okay. <laughs> we do not see that very often. <laughs> I think she'll take that one in the end. <laughs> the friendly ricochet for Kelsey. She will take it indeed. Have another look at this one. We do not see a jack bounce forward very often. Sure enough, through to <laughs> Lara's bowl. Oh. I mean, she did, she did have the tee as well if it killed, and she would have gone through with it solid if she'd got good. So probably one up would have been the result. <laughs> Look at Kelsey's reaction. <laughs> Sums it up beautifully. <laughs> Lots of options there. And coming forward was probably not one of them she was thinking of. It actually bounced off two, uh, two of Lara's bowls because it bounced off the back one and then just got a little glide off the front one on its <laughs> way back up. Very rare. She will certainly take it as a four shot. Margin. That would have been significant at this stage. Certainly, certainly. 
Long Beach. On that long length. We spoke about the players winning two ends in a row. Kelsey's got the one end there. Can she get the back-to-back -back ends and continue the little pattern we've got going? Lara strike back here. First ball gives Lara just a little chance. A couple of feet short for Kelsey. Just needs this to run. It looks a little bit freer on that side. I mean, it's still a little bit slower. The, you know, the shadows have come across and a little bit cooler, but... It has done most of the day. It's looked a little bit freer on that side of the rink. Certainly noticed that during the uh, men's pairs match. Kelsey looking to make her correction. Oh, we've got a nice angle seeing that. It's just going to pull up nicely. That will do for number one. Number one for now. Lara's weight was very good with her first. Can she make the slight line adjustment? She's willing it up there. And it looks pretty good. Just runs past. We don't want a knife edge right now. Yeah, it feels that way as well. I think Clive, uh, you know, in the men's pairs, the last few ends was the same. Energy just kind of changes slightly. It's becoming a bit of a lean forward type game, you know, when you, <laughs> you just want to lean forward. Of a loose end. Well, Lara's got something to play to here. She's got the chance to play to that back ball. Barry, what have you noticed as this game has started to wear on now? Yeah, Lindsay mentioned it earlier about the, the scoreboard and, and, and the score maybe influencing uh, either the way you approach your shots or approach um, your mindset about the game. And I really feel the end previous with Lara's three. I guess loose bowls with her first three. I felt she was a little bit quicker than normal. Maybe just getting on the mat, trying to push the uh, push the scenario a little bit instead of really owning that routine. And when she settled into her last delivery, knowing that there was a little bit more importance to it, being two down, she seemed to take a lot more time. So the scoreboard will be what it will be. But um, Kelsey's a perfect example throughout her career. Every delivery, every approach, every routine is identical. The way she sets up and the amount of time she goes from prepping to the moment she executes. So uh, Lara to be able to stay settled in this game, I really think she keeps, needs to really keep owning her routine. It's all about the moment not changing what you have to do, Barry, isn't it? It's, it's keeping that moment out of, out of the mindset. It doesn't, the, the moment doesn't change what you have to do. Yeah, that's right, and that's where all athletes across the world, you know, spend so much time on routine and, and for bowls there's no bigger or more important time than now to really own that and I like the fact that Lara's down there and she can just take a slow walk now and really go back to owning a delivery. But where sometimes when you, what do we say, five or six from the victory, a potential victory, the scoreboard can start to influence your, your prep. All right, well, there's a big opportunity looming here, Linz. Yeah, look, she's she's got one. Looks like if she can sit the back one of Kelsey's, it could bring another two, possibly two in. So be a confident draw. I think she's had three pretty good um, attempts, you know, all within a couple of feet of the jack. Nothing for narrow in this one. And she come up with a big shot in the big moment. Lara Butler. Close. Oh, oh wow, she was <laughs> wiggling that one. Did, I don't know if it was her, but somebody yelled out a big scream of hold and it just yeah. snuck under. Oh. Probably a sit for four potentially there. Now we think she's got shot, but they are going to measure. That's a mighty effort. Look at this. I was Lara. Good, good on you, girl. Love to see a bit of emotion like that. She was right in front of her own crowd there yeah. as well as she did that. That would have been massive. A, a four there. He gets a 19-13. It would have been huge. Would have won the title right there. But she holds on to one. 16 plays 13 here. 18 ends down on the Gold Coast. There's been a couple of those moments over the last few ends where 
just a couple of millimeters, millimeters, excuse me, away, and uh, Butler would be out to championship winning lead, you'd think. Yep, absolutely. A couple of big moments on the last two ends. That is for sure. Jack just short of the tee, but it's very much a shorter end than what we've seen. Matt right up. Lara just needing to uh, take a breath now. There was, it would have been a bit of adrenaline going after that last shot and being so close. Now just to regather and, like Barry mentioned earlier, just go through your process, go through your routine, get your jaw shot back on. She's doing pretty well with this. Just going to slide under, but very handy opener. Yeah, it's pretty hard to show emotion sometimes in singles because you don't have anyone to bounce off, I feel. So, yeah, it's really good when you have a, an opportunity like that to maybe let out a little bit of steam. Nice reply coming in from Kelsey. Almost identical in terms of the bowl. <laughs> or cold Clive. Oh, I actually think Lara thought she had that last bowl. Well, I think it what, was it maybe half a bowl narrow. Yeah. That was it. And she had enough speed to kind of hold the line to that bowl. So really good effort. Okay, I feel like this is a really important ball for Kelts now. Yeah, another Draw one. another and really put the pressure on. Yeah, I mean, it could work in Kelsey's favour that she was so close and just missed that because Kelsey was probably thinking, oh, could be four down here, but she's our only one. So, again, Kelsey needing to regroup. They are matching each other quite nicely this <laughs> end. One on the jack, one just behind. Interesting. Switch of hand for Lara. She's not, not, not liking that. I'm going to go out here and... Might be a tad on the wide side, I think. Yeah, we have seen that throughout the entire game, Lara. She hasn't, yeah, you mentioned earlier in, in the stream, but she hasn't um, been afraid to try the other side. If it looked like she could sit off something or trail a jack. Um, so she seems to be comfortable on both sides. Kelsey's adjusted the line, but she's still running here. I don't think we'll see anything too extravagant here from Lara. We should just be looking to draw the shot. Oh, we're talking about your theory or your patterns, Clive, that you love, the two-end, two-end, two-end thing. I think Lara ruined that for you there, did she? Absolutely, <laughs> yes. I hadn't mentioned that, Lynn's, but yeah. that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> we might go in another pattern now, for one mm. ending. Last ball of the end coming down for Lara. So sit on the yellow would make a couple. Draw under for shot. Still out in that wide line. Is it going to get back? Not quite. Free kick now for Kelsey. Both players have just struggled for that that little bit. I mean, that was that was probably an okay line in turn, just just a little bit of weight held it out. Huge opportunity for Kelsey. Yeah, a little touch wouldn't go astray. You're a little bit short, you can draw the shot. It has been a shorter end, and it has got to them a little bit. Now, is this one going to pull up? Yeah, looks like it's nice enough. Certainly. Well done. Took her opportunity there. Free kick and made the most of it. Two count goes up for Kelsey. To a one shot margin. And she took the most of that free opportunity. Cannot separate these two. Oh, and we've seen Kelsey give a, a long end T to T away. Decided it's not the go at the moment. Matt up about three metres and uh, Jack about a metre short of the tee. We saw an extra end finish earlier on. We won't have an extra end finish here because that can't happen in singles. Could we be in for a 21-20 finish? All the signs would indicate it should be something around that scoreline. <laughs> Kelsey Cotter has already seen a 21-20 scoreline in this Certainly. tournament. Certainly has. A victory over Dawn Heyman earlier on. What a match that one was. You can see Dawn in the crowd watching on. Big um, you know, fan and friend and best mate of Kelso. So 
sure she'll be willing her on. It's kind of like when you get beat by someone, you want them to keep on going. So It is interesting. I mean, Kelsey's had some closer matches in the tournament. Lara just goes on the outside of the jack. Only one player scored more than 13 shots against Lara yeah. in the tournament. As we see Chrissy and Ellen watching on. Yeah, we'll see them in action tomorrow in the women's pairs final. Very unusual to see those two sitting next to each other. <laughs> They're joined at the hip, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> now we uh, we were on the end of a very impressive performance of, by them yesterday. They are in <laughs> some kind of form. Another another girl about to have a, a first ever baby at the end of the year. Ellen Five. Well, that's a great shot from Kelsey. Just closes it down a little. wasn't far away with her first. I think this one a little bit of a chance. Next to hang. A pretty good weight there. Would have liked to change the angles up a little bit, but just turning away. Is that so level? Two just painting her own little picture to the layout of this one. The last ball of Lara might be a nice little aiming point for, for Kelsey here to get down just inside that. Oh, she's very close. It's a good edge. That's a great shot. That's three almost perfect balls in one end. Not too big a weight from Lara right yes. now. She doesn't have a big target. Just asking uh, the question if she can come have a little look. It's pretty crucial time of the game. 16, 15 up. The problem is, down. Lindsay, we we have a we can get that uh, we can get a picture of the head back back on for us. There it is. She just plays a little bit. Every chance she just sneaks the jack to Kelsey's bowl. I don't know if she can get enough jack to get it past. Kelsey's bowl, so unless she just feels like she can just cold draw, but even if she does that, if she sits outside, she's going to set something up for Kelsey. I, I think you might see a bit of weight. But you're right, it's not a huge target. Yeah, I mean, looking at the picture there, it kind of looks like she could even draw up on the forehand, but in person, it's you've got two bowls. <laughs> like two bowls inside that. It's a very tricky shot. I think you're all right, Clive. She's lined up with a bit of weight. Doesn't like it. That's well under. This is a very big end in the context of the match. Massive. Where's Kelsey? Only, go? only a moment ago, this direction, Lara was trying to convert for a four, and now Kelsey's got her very own chance. Surely Kelsey goes around the back here. I, yeah, I don't think you want to fatten that target I'm up anymore. Well, no. I think three's pretty good at, at this stage. So you can hear the mindset. Kelsey just checking that nothing was a toucher. So she's thinking about what happens if anything goes back. I th think she must go around the back. She could play a really good bowl and just give Lara a bigger target. Yeah, the, if she does that and she gets a tee, I think Lara almost might have to potentially go the draw shot with her last. It'll be interesting to see what, what she plays. This a big moment for Kelsey. Lara was millimetres away from blowing this one wide open a matter of ends ago. Now it's Kelsey's chance to do just that. Holding three up. Stalking it down and likes it. Uh, <laughs> Another one in the area, but wasn't exactly what she was after. Well, she's sweating the deal a little bit for Lara if she can get onto this now. Yes. Oh, sorry. No. Crucial. Can she make contact with this head? Looks to be dropping away. 
Big end there from Kelsey. Three shots it's going to be. Three it is. Confirmation it'll make it 18-16 the scoreline. Kelsey now in the box seat. Kelsey's biggest collect for the match right there. And it could not have come at a better time for it. Yeah, the money ends. This is where champions are made, and uh, she's done it a couple of times before, so she does know what it takes. Played a near, near perfect end, that one, Kelsey. No target, three bowls within a foot. Almost got the back one, but... How can Lara respond to this? Well, her first bowl on this end is going to be absolutely crucial. Needs to get her confidence back straight away after dropping the three. Otherwise, Kelsey has the opportunity to really put some big time pressure on with her first two bowls here. First bowl's handy. Nice and weighted. I just feel like this one needs to be good for Lara Bubba. <laughs> Travelling a little. Kelsey urging it to hurry. It's not bad, but you can see why. course Kelsey holding to plenty to play out on this head Lara needs to take her time with this third one and just slow things down a little Lynch. yeah Baz alluded to it yeah. um, previously but Lara's just a little bit quick in some of her actions She's got a, she's still got a foot or so of room there to get something close. And she's already on the mat ready to go. Right now, it's it's match on the line. Title on the line. Kelsey holding three. Oh, she sent it. Is it up there? She needs to run a lot. It's going to do enough to cut something out. Oh. Cut out the back one. I'm nervous. I'm not even down there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in this match. The world number one walks back to the rink with an opportunity to draw a third shot and hold the title in her hands. Yeah, we spoke about these things happening in the blink of an eye. A minute ago, it was all Lara and now Kelsey, a chance to have back-to-back -back threes and win another title. Experience of Kelsey, a casual stroll back to the mat, poised on the mat. She's got a quicker step, which is a positive sign. Likes the look of it. Is it there? Oh, I was going to say it's not, but it's still rolling. She's, yeah. Oh, she likes it. <laughs> she give a I'm nod biased, to, nod to Ian. <laughs> I said, I think so, but I'm biased. Yeah. So does Lara <laughs> look way through that pack? I think so, yeah. It's, too, it's yeah. the, the way it's shaped up now. To get both balls out. Two shots yeah. at the back yeah. of the ring for her. I can't cover everything. So Kelso's, <laughs> giving, Kelso's giving <laughs> us a, our own oh, commentary. Put the pressure back on here. You're embedded in her. Yeah. All Lara needs is some contact with any of those front four balls. Here we go, game down. Could come down to this for Lara Butler. Lining up for weight. How's this line? She's got something. What's she got? She stays oh, alive. She, st 
She's done well on that hand. Not the shot, but she has saved her, uh, saved her Australian Open chance. Just the one, so cuts out to Lara Butler. Stick around, big finish coming up here. Two shots away, Kelsey Cottrell. The Australian Open women's singles final continues here. Kelsey Cottrell with a 19-16 lead in the race to 21. But at the moment, Lara Butler all over the jack in this all-important end. Certainly is. We see the, uh, the bowls that have come down so far, and Lara has currently got three bowls, well, two bowls all over it, one just in behind. At just the moment, she needed them. Kelsey... Her last bowl of this end it looks to be a, a reacher on the backhand. She's still watching it. Looks to be just outside the target. Well, wowee! What, wowee! What are we in for here? <laughs> well, it's Lara, at Lara. least going to be 19 all, you would think, oh. barring a disaster. Could be 2019. Lara strides back with the chance to put herself one away from victory just when it looked like Kelsey had the upper hand. Well, she held game, Kelsey, just, just an end earlier. Yes. One bowl earlier. Lara just taking her time. She hold her nerve. Go with him one of victory. line, not sure if it's there. Well, she's playing out to a fairly safe line. I'm not sure this is running. Is it? It's is trying. It? Oh, it's not. <laughs> I don't think so. I think we're at 19 all. Oh, I think just so a few little let-offs Lara's given Kelso, you know, it's just that little advantage in Kelsey's favour, but three massive shots. Going through her mind would, it would have been there, do not touch your ball onto the jack because, and that's just played out there and yeah, I mean, but she could have touched it with a, at least, you know, she had a foot or two to play with. She had a back one there. She's um, gone for a break. <laughs> just a perfect timing for us. Since the moment and gone for a break. Uh, this might be good. Well, good for both girls, I think. They just need to recompose. 19 all. Just need two shots. It's a race to two. <laughs> Some nice colour in the stands. A lot of... Barry Lester, what an end there, tying it up 19 apiece. Yeah, I've been timing Lara's uh, uh, routine. Uh, we spoke about it earlier. Um, she got as low as five and a half seconds from the time she puts the bowl in her hand up to around about the nine second mark. But the last sort of uh, six deliveries have been around the eight and a half second mark from when the prep starts to release. So that's good to see. And she has been rewarded with it with great bowls. Um, and Kelsey, as we know, goes about it the same way. But um, just a little bit of nerves in both players. You can see mm. that. It's very quiet down here. No one's really talking to anyone. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to maybe have a bit of a chat and le uh, you know, release some sort of nervous energy. And But Kelsey um, and Lara are right in this match, of course, 19 all down here. Perfect conditions, literally not a breath of wind, and there's not a noisy miner inside. <laughs> <laughs> Baz, can you tip a winner for us yet, mate? We have no idea up here what is happening. I think, well, without having seen the stats in front of me, and uh, you might be able to help me out there, but I think the majority of the game, Kelsey has won in this direction. <laughs> so, and coming off just playing a really good end where Kelsey put four bowls in sort of that three feet mark and Lara didn't quite pick it, you'd like to think Kelsey would probably just be in front in this direction next end, but who knows if they go to another direction. Barry, you, you're good, is all <laughs> I can say, right? Because uh, I can tell you that Lara has scored six of her 19 shots in this direction. Wow. That they're about to play, only six. You give me a big head, mate, and I don't, have, I don't have all the stats in front of me. Oh, a noisy miner right on your commentary box, just on cue. So what you're saying is, has Kelsey scored 13 going this way of her 19? Uh, I make, will. Oh, wait, hang on, does that make sense? I think it makes sense, but I will <laughs> confirm that for you. Thank you. Lara's back, Lara's back now. Playing her length, which might be in her favour. Um, I feel like Kelsey's won, you know, those back-to-back -back ends. She had she had control of the jack in this direction as well. So, Whew, a big couple of uh, bowls coming up.
two shot end. Ten Either shots. player would win it. Ten shots to Kelsey in this direction because it, it they may have scored more going back the other oh, way. Gotcha. So yes. They don't have to add up to 19. Thank you. Thanks for clarifying, Statman. No problem. We, we you are a maths lesson. <laughs> you are electric with the stats, Clive. Oh, that first bowl of Lara just agonisingly short. I feel like Perfect that's a one. Yeah, you, when you do that, it's one of the most frustrating things in bowls is have nailed your line and you just drop that metre or, you know, two foot short. So hopefully it doesn't come back to haunt her later in this end. Kelsey on the opposite side of things. has just gone a little too far. Yeah, you'd probably prefer that, though. We have seen one rebounding jack this game, but generally if the jack's moving, it's... It's going backwards. Lara will like her short bowl if she can land right on the jack with this that one. That's true. Needs to get down. Kelsey now on the mat. Two count. Lara Butler, Swiss international. As we look at the aerial view once more. Kelsey's bowl on its way in. Nice one coming in. Great shot. It's good enough. Well, I have Lara attempted to change, and she is going to change. I suppose she hasn't quite nailed it on this other side. And Likes the reference point of that last bowl of Kelsey. Gives her something to work with. Has she got the trip here? Yes. Needs to run all the way. It's close. Is he going? Oh, I think so. I think so. From this angle, it looks like blue. We'll find out shortly. Come on, one to Lara. Yeah. Backwards and forwards this match. It has been a cracker. Just rolled far enough. Perfect line again. Yeah, Kelsey just needing to play something similar to her last. She can trail the jack to win the match or just draw it. Lara with just one bowl left to do anything about what Kelsey can do here. There's some, some sign here, Kelsey. She is not a mile away to this jack. Needs to get down. Just on the outside. Wow. That's a good setup for her last. We've got Lara now with a chance to draw into a whole game herself. <laughs> Well, she's got the advantage of having played it just with her previous bowl. Just needs to find a smidgen more. Yeah, probably another foot, I think. Home. Yeah, just yeah. needs to get probably behind the jack. Don't leave Kelsey a chance to win this match herself. She's good enough to draw one, so be it. But cover and count. It's on its way. She's following it down. Throw it again. Looks useful. How's the speed? Thanks for dropping there. Thanks to pull up. Thanks to drop in. Got That's it. That's two. <laughs> She's got it. Clara Butler. She holds the title in her hands. What is Kelsey going to do? She's played three bowls on her backhand. There's no weighted option. It has to be a draw shot. And the, the situation for Lara right now is... She is so composed, Lara. You would not know. She... Does Kelsey stay on the backhand and have an opportunity to win the match by moving the jack? Or does she go to the forehand, which is a reference bowl to play to? Looking like forehand. The entire... Taking her time. The entire crowd takes a deep breath. Way. Australian Open singles could One come down to, to this. Obviously, Cottrell it's two very down. close. Very close here. Needs it's dropping onto the front. Oh, she's Lara, Lara has <laughs> done it. Lara Bomba from WA in Switzerland. What a result! What an Australian Open. And Lara Butler has done it. She's won the Australian Open women's singles final. Two shots on that ends. What a performance. Thank you to all our SBS viewers for joining us today for the Australian Open. Lara Butler with the victory.
What a final we just witnessed, Clive and Lindsay. What a performance. She's been outstanding. She's been outstanding <laughs> for the fortnight. She had a great 2023 Australian Open, but I think this one might just top it off. She has been composed the entire match, and there's a bit of emotion now. You love to see it. All of the support, WA crew, uh, you know, there's so much love for Lara. She's a wonderful, wonderful human, but such a great player as well. Oh, that is fantastic. To, to have, you know, I've seen her grow in the sport, and just such a deserving victory. It really is. Barry Lester has got Lara with us right now. Barry. I think it's a little bit unfair, two taking on one. You're going to be a mum, Lara. I know there's some extra emotion in there. We spoke about the game, uh, before the game about that maturity of playing world championship level bowls and taking your game to the next level. All your hard work's been rewarded. Oh, it's amazing to have gotten this far and to be able to take it to Kelsey, who is a world champion, and she's, you know, a fantastic player. And I never thought I'd make it to the end, let alone win it. So, yeah, I'm really happy. To be out here, cameras, big crowds, home support, family, all that stuff. Is this just a, a dream come true for you? Absolutely. I am so lucky to have so much support and, yeah, it's just amazing. <laughs> We've seen you come through from the junior days, representing Western Australia, gone on to play open uh, level and international bowls now, but from an individual perspective, does this um, reach all your <laughs> wildest expectations? Yeah, I think this might be topping it, yeah. And you're now the Australian Open singles champion and you're going to be a mum. We wish you all the best and congratulations again. Thank you so much. Well done, Lara Butler. Lara Butler, take a bow. Such a prestigious event, the Australian Open, and to win it, in what was such a close match as well, Clive. Just terrific. She's a wonderful character. She's a wonderful person. And she deserves she deserves the, the rich reward. I'm getting a bit emotional, but what, what a fantastic performance. And it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily what you win, it's who you beat as well. And she's beaten one of the best, one of the best ever to play. World number one, Kelsey Cottrell. 21-19 was the scoreline. Lara Butler gets the job done in the women's singles here at Broad Beach Bowls Club. Stick around, presentations after this. Got the job done, Lara Butler in the Australian Open Women's signal, Singles Final. Here was the winning moment. It was two shots to get it done. 21-19, the final scoreline. Couldn't separate them, really, for all of the final between Kelsey and Lara. But it was a big moment, and the crowd loving it here at Broad Beach. A big crowd in store to celebrate this moment, and it really was a career highlight for Lara, Swiss international. Congratulations to her. We've got the presentations as well coming up. The men's pairs earlier in the day. We'll have a look at the victors there too. This is going to be terrific. What a day it has been. Let's welcome in Lindsay Clark to take us through all of the victors from today's play, the penultimate day at the Australian Open here on the Gold Coast. Thanks, Liam. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed the conclusion of the first day of the SBS Viceland, Fox Sports, KO and Sky Sport New Zealand broadcasted finals here at the 2024 Australian Open on the Gold Coast in Queensland. That was a magnificent end to the men's pairs and blue ribbon women's singles events. So please put your hands together for all of the finalists that competed valiantly here today. An event of this magnitude would simply not be possible without the generous support of valued partners. So I'd like to sincerely thank Bowls Australia's partners for their support, including Tourism and Events Queensland, Experience Gold Coast, Australian Sports Commission, Australian Institute of Sport, Commonwealth Games Australia, Puma, Right at Home, Audica, Drinkwise, Aero Bowls, Mac Max, BCIB, Original Mattress Factory, AVL Wines and our broadcast partners, SPS, SBS Viceland, Fox Sports, KO and Sky Sports New Zealand. Before the presentations occur, I would like to make a special mention and acknowledgement of Tourism and Events Queensland and Experience Gold Coast for their integral support of the 2024 Australian Open. Now to this afternoon's encounter with the Women's Singles Silver Medalists, presented by Councillor Bob LaCastra. Please congratulate Kelsey Cottrell.
And finally, to our Women's Singles Gold Medal, presented by Matthew Kennedy, the 2024 Australian Open Gold Medal, Champions Trophy and $12,500 prize check is awarded to Lara Butler. Well done, Lara. When she's ready, she's going to make a short speech. I'd like to thank Bowls Australia for putting on such a fantastic event year after year, and it's great that it will be here for another three years. Uh, thank you to the sponsors and also to all the host clubs and the volunteers. And thank you also to all the supporters that I've had here and back home. It's been a wonderful tournament. Thank you. Well done, Lara. Thank you very much, Lindsay. 13 days of competition down here now at the Australian Open at Broad Beach. One to come. What a couple of weeks it has been. It's been 4,000 entrants. It really is one of the world highlights on the bowls calendar. Congratulations to our victors today, Lara Butler in the women's singles.